Hi guys, I'm back. If you want to see how I went from this to looking like a bomb, stay tuned. Look at me, I'm feeling myself. But anyways, I'm happy to be back. If you've been, you know, waiting for my videos, I appreciate you guys. I can't do this without you, so thank you. But anyways, let's get started. So first of all, um, to begin any makeup look, I feel like hydrating your skin is the best thing to do. So I'm just going to use my setting spray to highlight. I'm sorry, not highlight, but hydrate my face. Um, just spraying it on my face. You know, I already moisturized and um, I'm using the hydrating. It's basically like a setting spray and it's kind of like dewy. It's not supposed to dry out my face and stuff. So as you can tell, I just jumped into my brows while I waited for the, um, setting spray to set in but I'm just gonna brush my brows up like um just upward so like you can brush your brows up and down the way you want it but it makes sense to just brush it up and I um you know <laughs> this is something that I did differently I don't usually do it but usually I try to lay my brows down and I couldn't find the lip gloss that I usually use so I went with a chapstick so excuse me for that I'm going ahead and brushing it up again I wouldn't recommend using a chapstick because like I did struggle a little bit with my brows so yeah just gonna go in with my brow pencil and just fill in my brows and the purpose of filling in your brows with like a brow pencil is to like make it thicker and stuff so yeah just doing that um i'm using my la girl pro concealer it's a little bit lighter than my skin tone but if you have watched my makeup videos you already know i always go for a lighter concealer which you are supposed to do um so i'm using like concealer to define the brows right you know you just want to define the brows makeup is art i always say and you just want to defile the brows guys look at my skin do you see how the setting spray just set in it's looking dewy it's looking nice it's looking you know hydrated and you definitely want that before applying makeup because like you want blended in your makeup to blend in like a butter like you know like when you hear the terms cut like a butter you definitely want your makeup to blend like a butter okay so that's what I did and I usually don't you know blend in the center of like you know put concealer at the center of my face but I felt the need to do it um, it's totally optional if you feel like it works out for you just go for it it definitely gives your brow like a more defined art you know like a perfect look and I usually don't go for the perfect looking brows I kind of like my brows to purposely look like you know like a normal human being like not perfect our brows are not perfect and they are not the same so as you can tell I'm just like blending it in with my skin and into my skin and yeah makeup is all about blending so like just blend it in guys make it melt into your skin like a butter I don't know why I'm saying this but I guess I like saying it so I'm definitely gonna go in with my brow pomade and that's what I'm doing um, the color is in like deep um, dark brown and I'm just stroking it in with like um, my brow pencil like it's very precise so like if anything let's say if I messed up with a pencil or whatnot you know anything I did beforehand and I messed up in with my brows I can pretty much go in with a pomade and you know um, basically fix the mistake so that's what I'm doing just gonna stroke it in and I'm sorry guys you know I didn't want this um, I didn't want this video to be a voice over but some way somehow I was just blind around about everything that you know I feel like having a voice over would be best so like that's why I switched it over to voice over so like you can tell I'm very talkative I'm talking into the screen like into the screen like it's nothing and makeup is all about artwork you know you can go at ahead and erase it with a you know when you drawing anything you can go ahead and erase it with a pencil when you make a mistake so like as you can tell I reached for my concealer again I didn't like the way that brow was looking per se I mean looking back it looks perfect to me but I guess I didn't like it that's why I went in with the concealer again I guess I wanted it to be I wanted it to be precise like crispy yes yeah, so like I'm happy with the way it looks um yeah and um, I'm gonna blend this in, as you can tell, um, coming up. Yep, I said I was gonna blend it in. See, I don't lie, guys, just kidding. Um, I try not to lie, that's the most important thing. All right, so definitely gonna go ahead and you know, dive in into like the makeup with using my foundation. Usually, I did a, things a little different this time. Usually, like, I'd like to like um, 
finish with my eye makeup before I dive in into like foundation but I just you know dive that in this time and guys you can see like my facial you know re remarks or whatnot because like the foundation was literally burning my skin and I'm currently using Trent tretinoin tretinoin as an acne treatment and i think it's making my skin very sensitive but yeah that's why it burns a lot when i put on anything on my face be it moisturizer whatever i'm putting on my face it burns a little bit so like um that's the story of my life but yeah as you can tell i'm definitely going in and putting more coverage foundation on my face and guys when you do when you're applying foundation Please try to stay away from your brows because I felt like me applying this foundation, I kind of messed up like, you know, the precise brow that I already had a little bit, a little bit messed up. And if you're a perfectionist like me, you definitely know this. So um, I think I did it off camera. I definitely went back and tried to like fix the brows and stuff. So like, oh, oh, I guess I didn't do it off camera. I did it in camera. So like, um, yeah. <laughs> Definitely try to um, stay away from your brows when you're applying your foundation. And yeah, so this is what I do like the coverage of this foundation, guys. I'm not going to lie. And the foundation that I used was um, ColourPop foundation. This is the second time I've used this foundation. And I do like the way it melted into my skin. So reaching in into eyeshadow is a simple eyeshadow look. I reach into my Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. That palette is very colorful and I reached for a color that complemented my skin tone you know like if you're a dark skin like me um you know definitely your browns your orange you know color that basically brown you know nude could complement your skin tone like you know like a tannish yeah I didn't want any colorful look and as you can tell guys this is a very simple eyeshadow look I definitely I only use one eyeshadow color for this look I wasn't trying to be all dramatic or whatnot and guys if you know me if you know my past with makeup and stuff you know like I don't play with my eyes I do all sorts of stuff the cut creases and everything but this time I feel like I'm growing up like because <laughs> my eyeshadow game has changed totally I wouldn't say completely changed because sometimes I definitely want a dramatic look but yeah um so I remember saying that I wanted my eyeliner to look like a crispy you know I went to Sephora yesterday and one of the models on the walls like their eyeliner look like crispy sandwich crispy chicken sandwich sorry guys I'm goofy like that um so you definitely want like a precise eyeliner look like if anything I would emphasize on my makeup your eyeliner has to look you know snatch it definitely has to look snatch you want somebody to look at your makeup and be like damn they aspire to have the same makeup and stuff so definitely and this is the Kat Von D eyeliner you know if you know a little bit background about Kat Von D she's like a tattoo artist and like her makeup line is totally vegan and you know since she's a tattoo artist she definitely wants her makeup to look like a tattoo on you so yeah my eyeliner is crispy I like the way it looks and stuff so um I think I did my um the rest of my eye makeup off camera because honestly guys I suck up putting on like um fake eyelashes so um I did it off camera I'm sorry um if I'm not good at something why should I do it on camera and pretend like I'm good at it um as you can tell from the background if you saw it I'm airing out my dirty laundry but like um uh, here i think i was showing you guys the lashes that i have i have anastasia beverly hill i have lily galici's lashes and like the basic drugstore lashes which is kiss eyelashes i was basically saying that i reach for a dramatic eyelashes when i'm going out at night but during the day definitely kiss eyelashes so lashes are on and i'm gonna go in and you know try to blend the lashes the fake lashes with my real lashes all right, so that's what I'm doing. Um, if you are into fake lashes, most of the times when you wear fake um, fake lashes, it like kind of separates away from your real lashes so people can tell. I mean, I'm sure everybody knows that you are wearing fake lashes, but the goal is to like try to make it blend into your real lashes. Make it look, yeah, people know that they are fake, but you know, try to make it look real a little bit. So that's what I'm doing. I just went in with my mascara and like, you know, try to like even it out, try to like, you know, push it into like the fake ones and stuff um yeah so that's what I'm doing and yeah guys I do 
I do, I do, I do love this eye look. It's very simple, it's beginner friendly, and yeah, guys, I feel like everybody can do it. So over here, um, I after that I went I went ahead with my concealer. Guys, voiceover is not easy. I feel like I'm talking nonstop. I need like a drink or something. So going ahead with my concealer, you know, basically the purpose of a concealer is to like highlight places you want to highlight. And yeah, so like, you know, at the on my cheek, at the top of my cheek, you know, my jaw, everything. So guys, forgive me, but I'm just basically highlighting places I want to highlight. And you definitely, where I put the concealer on, that's the places you definitely want to highlight, all right? I think I got nervous for a little bit. I'm not sure why. So, like, everything became blurry. But, like, if you're doing a voiceover, you need the calmness. So, yeah, guys, I'm back into being calm, okay? So, all right. So, basically, you know, stroking it in with my brush, like, um, my highlighter brush. And I don't think it was doing a good job. You know, so, guys, also, like, when you are highlighting and you're trying to blend it in, I recommend using a blending sponge, all right? This brush works perfectly, but, like, um, I don't like the strokes on my skin. And, like I said earlier, my skin is very sensitive, so, like, um, yeah, just stroking it with a brush was kind of hurting. So, I reach for the sponge and make sure your sponge is wet, you know, because, like, you don't want your sponge to take away the um, highlighter, the um why do I keep calling it the highlighter? But the concealer away from your face, all right? So you making it wet, it's kind of like melting the concealer into your face. Over here, I went, I wanted to contour. So I went in with a darker shade color. And this is like a Maybelline foundation. I only got it for a, um, a dollar. But as you can tell, it's really darker than my skin tone. So yeah, you definitely want to use like a foundation or whatever, a contour stick darker than your skin tone to contour and that you definitely want to use a brush because like you are kind of like contouring you know I wouldn't recommend using a sponge because like a brush this brush like per se localizes the um contouring so that's why I go I usually use a brush to um contour so yeah guys and I have this thing for Murphy it's also a contour and a pout it's kind of like a bronze tour that's literally the name bronze tour that means it's a bronzer at the same time also a contour kit so like yeah did you hear me i said a bronzer um it's a bronzer but yeah um that's what i'm doing and definitely you want to you know contour your cheekbones and stuff and i did it very lightly okay so over here i went with like a setting powder the purpose of a setting powder is to set your makeup up into place it also serves as a highlighter so i'm definitely going under my eyes like the places that i use the um concealer to highlight that's where i'm gonna set it up all right because you definitely want to create an airbrush kind of like a gradient with your makeup and that's what i'm doing and guys it's so important to like have a clean you know be clean with your makeup all right just don't like be very precise with your makeup because like the work you put in is the work you get out with makeup so like as you can tell i'm very like very gentle with this because i don't want the powder uh, places that i don't really want so like under my eyes yeah and that's what i'm doing all right, guys, so I think I'm going to be quiet for a bit and let the background music play and you guys can just watch me. Oh, my goodness, guys, I'm looking so cute. Oh, my goodness. I love this look. And honestly, ColourPop, you know, they haven't like failed me. It's a very cheap makeup. You can buy it online. Sephora. I'm sorry, not Sephora, but Ulta Beauty Carry ColourPop Cosmetics. And that's what I'm using. And I feel like the um sorry, the setting um powder that I'm using is also a drugstore brand. It's I think it's Maybelline Fit Me setting powder. And I did get it in the darker shade and it looks good. Guys, look at me. I love it. I love the way I'm looking, all right. So just, you know, buffing it out. And I try, honestly, if you come up close, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but I do have lines on my forehead. So like when I'm doing makeup, I try to stay away from my forehead because like makeup just enhances every line and everything. Even though it makes you look good, 
it enhances like every wrinkle and everything so like if you have lines on your forehead and stuff you definitely want to stay away you know still wear makeup but like don't put a lot of makeup on your forehead so over here i'm just like buffing it out buffing it out and buffing it out basically i'm cleaning the remnant of the powder that's what i'm doing i look a little ashy over here but honestly guys i like this look if i really wanted i could have gone ahead you know to tone it down with a setting spray the one that i used before i started applying makeup but i do love the ashiness of this like it makes me look polished and i personally like it so like if you are following my makeup routine step to step and you feel like this point makes you look ashy please tone it down with like a setting a setting spray and basically i'm going ahead and you know trying to bring out my cheekbones contouring in a way i also reach back in with my makeup brush and yeah i think i said i'm happy with the way i look so um i started with lips yes and lips of course guys can you guess what lips i'm using i'm still using the color pop you know it's a matte lip gloss and not lip gloss it's a matte lipstick and the color i think it's in limbo yeah limbo is a very great rich kind of like a multi brown and i fell in love with this color when i saw it on my roommate from college like three years ago i'm like oh my goodness i have to get one and i think she ordered me my first limbo and you know limbo is something that has always been in my makeup bag or makeup you know collection has always been part of it since i fell in love with it and honestly when i run out i immediately reach out online and order another one even though i don't use it i don't use it as much as i used to but yeah it's very nice it's very rich brown and that's what and um guys this lipstick is also very drying so if you don't want no dry lips i would say you know just go over your lips with like a vaseline or a chapstick you know like a a base before you start using the limbo because it will dry your lips out like you know you start seeing the cracks the lines everything in your lips but that's the look i'm going for and i don't mind you know looking like that but usually i would go over my lips with like a vaseline or something and a lot of people use lip liners i don't i just like to like you know be precise with the lipstick that i'm using you know lip liner helps if you feel like you know you need to use a lip liner for your lipstick to be like snatch crispy on point definitely go for it but i personally don't use it and yeah i still got the crispiness the crispiness guys i can't even say crispy all right <laughs> so i'm sorry guys so yeah i do like the way this looks so i think i reached back to like my eyeshadow palette and um I basically I like to apply eyeshadow at my bottom you know at my bottom eyes what is that part called but yeah it look it makes it looks it brings the look together you know I felt like I had partial eye look without you know applying eyeshadow at the bottom but you know this just brought it I know it's nothing it's not like a dramatic change but I personally like that and I always like apply eyeliner on my bottom lashes basically you know this black girl doesn't really have bottom lashes so like eyeliner makes it for me you know if i had bottom lashes i think i would have just gone for like a mascara or whatnot but since i don't have a lot eyeliner is my best friend for my bottom eye look so yeah i think um i kept applying the eyeshadow because i wasn't seeing it it wasn't a dramatic you know finish for me so yeah bottom lashes eyeliner and that's what i'm doing now so guys when you're applying eyeliner definitely be careful because a lot of people have had oopsies with their eyeliners but you know i've been wearing eyeliner since i came out of the womb just kidding guys i've been wearing eyeliner since high school i was like i oh my goodness as a teenager i would never leave the house without wearing eyeliner but look at me now i leave yeah i leave the house every day you should see me at work i have no makeup on when i'm at work and yeah so yeah guys i really like the way this thing came out like i feel like the doors in my room is very complimenting my skin tone now just because the look is kind of orangey brownish you know like this bohemian look 
I went ahead and used my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, a highlighter palette to highlight. Guys, I know highlighting is so like the shimmering highlighting is so like three years ago, but I still do it. I don't know why I like to do it. So like I'm highlighting the bottom of my, I mean the corners of my eyes. I always, always, always highlight the tip of my nose because it gives me the pointy nose. Um, as a kid, my nose was definitely more, more pointier than it is now. But now I feel like I still have the pointiness because like if I put like, you know, the shimmering stuff on my um, nose, it becomes very, very pointy. So like it's there, but it's hiding so, and I like to bring it out. So yeah. So um, that's what I did. And I think I was just doing some finishing touches to it. And this is my makeup look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, I really enjoyed making this because it's very, like, effortless, you know, brown skin, bohemian style makeup. And I look good, you know. Who can argue with that? I look very good. So thank you, guys. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. I'm so happy about the way it looks. So God is love. And, you know, I will be, you know, on top of it, updating you guys for more videos. Peace and love. Mwah.